All right, so today I want to share with you this Flexzilla air hose reel. Um, as you can see here, I've already mounted it up on the wall. Uh, I had to use a piece of one by 10, I believe it was, one by 10. That way I could get into some studs and get it mounted up. So all I did was use some lags with washers to mount it into the board and then screwed the board into the wall with wood screws. And then of course it's painted to match the wall so it doesn't look so ugly. But I wanted to tell you my thoughts on it and kind of share whether I think uh, it was worth it or not. I was looking to see if anyone had reviews of this air hose reel from Flexilla specifically. Um, I couldn't find any, so I went ahead and bought it just kind of on the idea. I bought this compared to the plastic uh, normal Flexilla assembly based on the fact that I wanted something a little bit nicer, I guess you could say, than the plastic case. And uh, there's some other features that I liked a little bit more that I wasn't sure about, but um, I'm a little bit happy about that as far as longevity is concerned. All right, so to start, you can just see the initial difference is this is a classic hose reel design. Um, it offers the ability to move this arm. You can swing it up that way down this way and uh, when you move it it kind of allows you flexibility in where you can mount it so you could in this position right here I have it mounted high up on a ceiling that way the hose hangs down and it's uh, a good way to mount it here you could also mount this from the pictures I saw on the box on like a a truck um, say you were a mobile mechanic or repair person and you needed air you could mount this flat and then this would just hold the hose up just like you see here or if you mounted it down low you could flip this up that way and um, you could just pull the hose straight out so this hose reel comes with these rollers here uh, they're just plastic, but it has four rollers, one here, here, and here, and that it kind of allows you when you pull out the air hose, it allows you to not be rubbing the hose on just stationary metal, possibly uh, giving you some more longevity. Next, and I guess possibly most important for me, is this assembly over here. This is where the air comes in to the hose reel and gets dispersed. So as you can see, that is a, it's probably aluminum. Uh, I don't know if it's brass or not. It may be brass, but basically that is a 3 8 inch inlet and outlet right there. Um, basically what that means is instead of the normal air hose end, so this air hose end here is quarter inch, which means it's a smaller output diameter here, and that's 3 8 so that doesn't restrict airflow as much, as well as the fact that it's made from metal, whereas when you get the plastic case, the transfer tube is plastic as well, so it's definitely not uh, gonna last as long unfortunately just the, it is the way it is so you know you kind of get what you pay for this hose reel was about $165 on sale and the plastic air hose I saw them on Amazon for I think it was 90 bucks so they both come with 50 foot air hoses same air hose this one I would have liked to seen this one the all metal design I think it's their pro I don't know if they call it that or not, but I would have liked it to come with their Pro Air Hose. This is not the Pro 
air hose. This is just a regular old generic. So if something happens to this end here, this fitting, uh, this fitting or this end, I'd have to buy a, they sell, the pro hoses come with reusable ends that if something were to happen here and I accidentally cut it or whatever, I could just chop it and kind of fill it back in. So that's probably something I would like to see for the extra cost, um, considering regular old sheet metal is not very expensive. Okay, so here's a look from the floor. Um, basically, as you can see, my hand here is probably about eight feet in the air and I am not anywhere near it, still several feet higher. So what I did is I ended up shortening this um, stopper here because I added on one of Flexilla's kind of extension whips. And basically what that does is it gives me this swivel flex ball here, this piece here where my thumb is. It gives you this, that way when you're working, you can kind of have a little less resistance. Because usually when you're working with an air hose, you kind of have it at an angle, a slight angle, whether you're using an air gun or an air nozzle, uh, I mean, or an air tool. And so it kind of flexes around and gives you a little bit more mobility. Now, of course, it's probably going to wear out. It's going to be a wear item. Um, so, but I mean, it really wasn't that expensive. It was like 16 bucks from Tractor Supply as well. So this is a little two foot one. And then I got a four foot one to go from here down to the air compressor. So the hose reel comes with a five foot lead in hose. So that was nice. That way you could run it. You know, I ran it almost all the way down the wall. Um, so it comes with that as an option. And then what I did was I just took some rubber clamps and kind of mounted it up next to this windowsill to kind of keep it from hanging out here because otherwise it would just hang straight down and that's just kind of ugly looking. So the hose reel, the hose reel works just like a normal one where it has the clicks where you can stop and all you do is you go past that final click and you want it to reel back up and then you just let it go and boom it's up there. I love that far more than having to roll the hose reel up every time. That's what I was doing before and I just didn't like that. So I wanted to get this hose reel plus this Flexilla hose because I have their garden hose, which I really love. So this is Flexilla's 3 8 inch hose with you know quarter inch uh, NPT threads at the ends. So the hoses are very pliable and uh, you know, good quality. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, <laughs> lime green color. Uh, I'm more of a fan of just good old black because that's exactly what's going to happen to this green color. After dragging it on the floor and running greasy hands over it, it's going to end up turning black. So it's definitely a much better option than this other hose that I have here. So this is a regular old uh, Goodyear rubber air hose. So it's got brass ends on it. Uh, that's what I wanted to mention about the other one. The Flexilla hose has aluminum ends. So just like brass, they're not going to rust, but they're also lighter. Um, and then this rubber is just a little bit stiffer, a little less pliable. And this is 50 feet as well. And of course it's red. But if you pick this up, I don't have a scale, but I wish I did. This hose is significantly heavier than a similar Flexilla hose. It's the same way with their water hoses, uh, the Flexilla water hoses, the Flexilla air hoses. They're much lighter as well as very pliable, which is a good thing. 
So to cap off, I got this Flexilla air hose reel. I'll put a link in the description to kind of, um, you can look at it to get more information, but there, I wish I could have gotten one with a little bit longer air hose. I think that this hose reel would probably hold 75 feet of air hose. This is 50 foot and you can kind of see it's still got a little bit of space up there. So I think a 75 foot hose would fit in there. I don't think a hundred would. It's just, uh, it's just not going to work. It's going to be too, too big. But so far I've been happy with this. I love the setup, being able to have my air compressor down here. Um, stay tuned for a review video of that air compressor. I love that thing. It's so much better than my old one. But I love being able to just pull the hose down and whenever I'm ready to use air, it's there. And I don't have to worry about hand rolling up a rubber air hose. So please share your thoughts on air hoses and thanks for watching.